cardboard, a drawer, some scissors and some hot glue later, I've made a ant farm nursery. So my goal was to try and make it so that there's going to be no light that comes through. So when it gets put in the drawer, this will be flat and then not allow any light in. And then I'm going to put, maybe keep it in the bubble wrap, I'm going to put the um, file with the queen ant in here and also I'm going to put some of these in here to make it more stable when I open up the drawers. Okay, so you have tarantulas online. Thank you for that with my mystery box. And then hopefully that will um, stop it moving about so much when I open up the drawers. So this is my first ant colony. Wanted one since I was little. Last time I checked, we have seven workers. Let's see how many we've got now. So this is how I plan to store my queen ant. I'm just going to place it in there in the bubble wrap. It's probably being overprotective, but it's my first one. And I want to make sure I don't lose it anyhow. Also, I should probably mention that I got this from Ant Kit UK, I think. I think they're doing free, free queen ants. Which I thought, uh, better give it a go then if it's free. <laughs> Not sure if this is too much, but I'm gonna go see if this fits in the drawer. And come back in a second, let you know. So it fits in pretty well, nice and snug, so I don't think there's gonna be much movement about. Also, it's right next to my Osk's fifth, so there's going to be some warmth that goes through. Hopefully, helps them make more workers and increase the colony growth. Okay, 